Hi, and welcome to J.I. Colorist February 2022 Completed Pages. My name is Jody, and I'm pretty excited to be sharing these pages with you. I finished 31 pages in February. And let's get started. As you can see, this is Romantic Country, The Second Tale by Eri, and I have a want to continue in this book and hopefully finish it this year, but there are a lot of pages left. So this is chapter one, The Glow of Beautiful Old Castles. I use polychromos pencils, some pan pastels, some glitter um, paint markers, and some copper metallic paint and pink metallic paint there. I then finished this page in February and I used polychromos pencils and a little bit of silver uh, gel pen in the water. And a little bit of metallic paint, if you can see it there, on the roof. And this page is finished. I used first black polychromos uh, pencil and then I did on top a black pan pastel that has glitter in it. And then the rest is some metallic Paul Rubens watercolor paint. And then I used polychromos and some uh, gl glitter paint pens. I really liked how that one came out. I disc bind most of my books, as you can see, so that when I do a page, I actually remove the page and then I put it back in. So this page here is a double spread and I added the stenciled brick road here. Uh, the rest is polychromos, a little bit of gel pen, and uh, that's it. Tried to, I added some stained glass to the windows trying to match some stained glass there so yeah actually there's glitter paint as well along there so I'm really getting into the glitter obviously <laughs> and then i finished these two pages so this organ page polychromos some metallic paint, some silver gel pen, gold metallic paint, and uh, I like how this one came out. For the church page, I have polychromos gel pens, and um, the background is pan pastel. Added some extra rocks along here to kind of make that so. Yeah, that page turned out nice. In the stained glass page here, I used paint, uh, Paul Rubens metallic paint, metallic paint. I used um, watercolor mark, not markers, sorry, watercolor pencils, the Albert Durr watercolor pencils and polychromos. So, a couple more in this book. Like I said, I am working, trying to finish this book this year, so I've done quite a few pages this month. So this is polychromos again. As you can tell, I uh, like a harder lead, and I really like polychromos. And the background for this is three colors of gelatos and I put them on dry 
using uh, rubbing it on my finger and then rubbing it on the page. So I think that turned out pretty good. And then this page is the background is done with some an ink pad and a um, foam applicator and then polychromos a little bit of gel pen and then here and there if you can see it's shiny uh, and it looks there i tried for the first time ever the glossy accents that makes things look like they're under glass so i thought with the a little magnifying glass and the eyeglasses it would be a nice nice way to start using them so that's the pages in this book and I have two from posh coloring books mandalas I don't generally do mandalas but I just thought I'm trying to use up the books that I have and I was looking for something uh, Valentine's related for uh, the month of February so I did with color it gel pens and markers alcohol markers i don't use alcohol markers very much they do bleed through um in the page and it is quite thin paper but uh since i don't use this book a lot i didn't really care if it went on to the second page so i did that page and then i did this page again i use color it gel pens and uh markers i have blue Blick Studio One markers, and then just, just a whole variety of markers from different sketch boxes and stuff like that. Then this is my very first Rita Berman book. And I looked it up and it said, Color and Breathe the World Under the Magnifying Glass. So that's how it translated uh, when I looked, Google translated it. So I'm not sure if that's accurate but we're going with that so this page um i completed using bambino clay crayons so this is all crayons even the little bubbles and everything um, and i didn't do a background i was just trying to have fun um, and use up some of my supplies that i don't often use i was testing the paper in this book too since it's a new book to me and then i did this page from Rita Berman and it uh, I used polychromos pencils and some washi tape and a little bit of gel pen. I thought that kind of was a sweet little spring page. I live in Canada and it's a uh, full-on winter here still. Lots of snow so and I did this page and I used some watercolor glitter paint. I uh, used some extra stencils, added a few extra butterflies, pan pastels for the background, and polychromos. And then I used black uh, India ink for the black here. And the first, I laid down a layer of black polychromos pencil, and then the India ink on top. And that helps it to not bleed through. So I've done that trick a few times. I just thought the little butterflies and added a little bit more to the page. And then because there was just a little bit of ghosting from the uh, stamping of the butterflies, I finished this page as well, just polychromos. And then I did a, a stenciling of two colors of wet gelato for the background. And I'm, I really like the size of this book. It's nice and, and compact. Uh, and uh, yeah, it's fun. The paper isn't super heavy duty, um, but it is better than like create space paper. So I'm happy with this book. I also purchased two of Lulu Mayo's books, first ever um, that I've done for it's her. I kept seeing other people on YouTube demoing their books and I'm like, wow, that's cute. So I went on book outlet dot com or dot ca and uh purchased them at a discount so that was that was great so this is the page i chose the little otters in a teacup i thought that was awfully sweet and i used 
um, glitter paint from Paul Rubens, uh, and then pencil. And I used a little bit of Derwent, oh, I'll just grab it here, Graphitant um, pencils. So a little bit of water, a couple of some washi tape and a couple of stickers just to jazz up because I wasn't really sure what to do for the background. So I thought I'd just do that for this first page. So, and I didn't do anything in this book, but uh, next month. Okay, Joanna Basford. We all need a Joanna Basford book or two. And this one is World of Flowers that I purchased while I had the spine cut off and I added disc binding. So that's how I do that. And I really like how this page came out. So it's polychromos. Let's do this so that you can see it better. So I used different gel pens on the fish. I used Paul Rubens glitter watercolor paint on the flowers and the ring around the outer ring. And then the rest of it is done with uh, polychromos. So yeah, I really like that. That came out quite, quite nice. Sometimes you don't often like the pages you, you finish. And when you do like pages, it's kind of nice. So this page, I was, whoops, sorry. I was happy with it, I think, until I did the background, quite frankly. Um, but it's done. So it's uh, the paint, glitter paint is the Paul Rubens and Fun, Fine Tech Gold paint. Uh, Paul Rubens paint up here. And I added a few extra stars. And then the background is uh, gelato, dry rubbed on. So we've got uh, metallic uh, yellow and brown gelato on the bottom here. And then it's a black gelato on top. And I just uh, applied it with the, my finger and a little bit of stickles there. So, so the colors look really nice, but I wasn't really happy with the black background. So, but it's done. You live and you learn. So, and then this page is the last one from this book, and it's gel pen for the gold parts and uh, also gel pen for some of the pink areas and then the rest is polychromos and i was trying to pick a limited palette for this one uh, and kind of treated it like a mandala um, and yeah i think it turned out fairly fairly well so it's happy with happy with all the books all, all the pages in this book so far we're getting close Another Joanna Basford book. This one is from Worlds of Wonder or Wow, uh, depending on what you think. And this I did the Floating Islands page. And I used a variety of mediums, um, which is kind of my standard. <laughs> so I've got uh, a background of stenciling and I was trying to do like a modern sky effect. Um, so I used a stencil and I used a variety of colors of ink. And then I used on some of the islands, uh, metallic paint from Paul Rubens, uh, some gel pen, metallic paint. And then the, if you notice, there's a little bit of bling up in the sky. And I tried to make so the shading um, from the light would cast onto the trees and uh, stuff. So it was, it's a fun page. There's a lots of little pieces to this page, but uh, yeah, I think it turned out. Not sure that I love the background, but it's done. So sometimes you just do it and move on. So this one, just a quick one. Used a little bit of gel pen, a little bit of stickles, uh, glitter glue. I used a uh, mask with uh, three different, four different colors of gelatos for the background and a few 
couplers of gelatos down here. This was dried on with my finger, and this was used with a sponge and uh, and my finger. So just uh, how it went. So just a fun, quick page. And this page took me. I didn't. Com I completed it in February, but I didn't start it in February. So I have. Um, I bought this book when it first came out, and then I was on holidays at my second home, and I have a variety of older pencils there. So I had like Laurentian and Crayola Twistables and Blick Studio um, there, and Lyra Polycolors. So while I was on vacation, I completed each of those sections and then when I got back home um, I completed it with uh, Prisma Premier, Polychromos, the Creative Color Mega Color which are quite a chunky uh, fat pencil but fun fun and the Color at 72 colored pencils um, and Bambino clay crayons so yeah I just thought it was kind of a different way to approach the page uh, and uh, yeah so I see a little bit different so yeah, so that's this book. Part of my uh, hoping for 2022 in coloring is that I go and expand my range of coloring. I, I've focused quite a bit on Romantic Country uh, recently because I was finishing book one. Um, so I want to pay a little bit of love and attention to the books that I don't normally go into. So I pulled out a Paisley's Color for Everyone. Um, and this is an older book that I got. And I also don't ever use my alcohol markers much. I'm not really an alcohol marker. So in order to get better, I thought I should maybe use a little bit. Plus they're starting to dry out a little bit. So, uh, I give them a little bit of love while they're still useful. So I did this page and then I did a background stencil, um, just using a... Uh, the Tim Holtz applicator, uh, uh, foam applicator with some ink pads. So yeah, so that's the one for that one. I did one PDF. So from the PDF is from Ellie Marks. So it's www.elliemarks.etsy.com. And this was a free uh, download that she provided to the Facebook group. So I uh, printed it on... Uh, Strathmore 400 series colored pencil paper. I wanted to test the paper out, so I thought I would print this. And yeah, I used Polychromos, and uh, that was it. No other gel pens or markers or anything. So yeah, it turned out uh, turned out okay. I think I'll have to practice a little bit more on this paper, but um, yeah. And the last but not least is a Mandela. Bliss Volume 3. So this is Simple Mandel Designs by artist Jennifer Stay. And it's on printed on Bliss watercolored paper. So it's um, 90 pound paper, so it's not great, but it's um it's it's mainly for fun. So and what I've been using this book for is to test out my watercolor mediums that I have and to uh, use. So I've got Paul Rubens and Neo Color 2. So the Paul Rubens is the uh, metallic um, and then the something like metallic and then the, the Neo Color 2 and I used a uh, wa um, I put it on for the Neo Colors I, I colored it directly on and then I uh, wet it. So yeah so there's that one and then there was this one so again paul rubens and neo color too so i don't get enough use out of my uh neo color too so i thought you know let's let's bring them out so yeah and they blend really well um so i mean i don't know why i'm not using them more so i'm always a little hesitant to use them in a coloring book because they do take um water to move but uh yeah so that is it for my uh completed pages and i just wanted to say thank you for watching and this is a fairly new channel 
and today I hit 101 subscribers so far so very excited about that I know it's not large but it, uh, it means something to me so thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video bye bye